Hello and welcome to Will It Work. In fact, I recently repaired this iPod Classic successfully. So I decided I have an iPod Touch. And one day it decided to go to a white screen of death. Take a look in the light. I'm not trying to fake it or anything. It, it is a white screen. However, it is not water damage. It is, it just froze up and went to the right white screen. You can still hear it clicking. But it just stays on a white screen. So what I'm going to want to do, when it comes to the white screen, if you are very unfortunate and you happen to get the white screen of death, and keep in mind this is where it is, this is a 16 gb it means the iPod is frozen, and it is attempting to unfreeze. So what you're going to want to do is take it out of its case. And as you can see, this is a second generation. I haven't tried this for the first, but I think it will work. So what you're going to want to do is press both the top and the home button at the exact same time. Screens off. What you do now is press that, and there you go. You got the Apple logo. And however, if this iPod is water damaged, which mine is not, but if you do have one that's water damaged, it could freeze on this Apple logo and have further problems. And I will post a video later about what to do if that happens. But with the basic white screen, that's all you need to do. And if that, by some chance, does not work and your iPod just will not turn on after that, you're just going to want to sync it. And if that doesn't work, then restore the iPod to its factory settings. And it will work absolutely fine. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Will It Work? iPod Touch.